Alright guys, welcome to the Book of the Dragonborn with me, Clam Lavorsi. Many people have heard the term Dragonborn. We are, of course, ruled by the Dragonborn Empress, but the true meaning of the term is not commonly understood for those of us in the Order of Talos. This is a subject near and dear to our hearts, and in this book I will attempt to illuminate the history and significance of those known as Dragonborn. Most scholars agree that the term was first used in connection with the covenant of Akintosh when the blessed Saint Alyssa was given the Amulet of Kings and the dragonflies in the Temple of the One were first lit. Akintosh, looking with pity upon the plight of men, drew precious blood from his own heart and blessed Saint Alyssa with this blood of the dragons. I made a covenant that so long as Alyssa's generations were true to the dragon blood, Akatosh would endeavour to seal tight the gates of oblivion and deny the armies of the Deidre and undead. The Deidre loving Aelids, those blessed by Akintosh with the dragon blood, became known more simply as dragon blood. The connection with the rulers of the empire was there from the beginning. Only those of the dragon blood were able to wear the armor of kings and light the dragonflies. And all the legitimate rulers of the empire have been dragonborn. The emperors and empresses of the first Cedrodel empire funded by Alyssa remain Cedrodel and his heirs and of course Tiber Septim himself and his heirs down to our current emperor his majesty Pelagus Septim the fifth. Because of this connection with the emperors however the other significance of the Dragonborn has been obscured and largely forgotten by all the scholars of those of us dedicated to the service of the boss Talos who was Tiber Septim. Very few realize that the Dragonborn is not simply a matter of being blessed by the dragon's blood. Being the blessing of Akintosh himself, it is beyond our understanding exactly how and why it is bestowed. Those who become emperor and like the dragonflies are surely dragonborn. The proof is in the wearing of the amulet and the lighting of the fires. But were they dragonborn and first able to do these things? Or was the doing the sign of the blessing of Akintosh descending upon them? All that we can say is that it is both and neither a divine mystery. The line of septums have all been dragonborn, of course which is one reason the simplicity and notion of it being a heritage has become so commonplace, but we no, for certain that the early Sindudel rulers were not all related. Also, there is no evidence that Riman Sindudel was a descendant from Alessia, although there are many legends that would make it so, most of them dating from the first time of Riman and likely attempts to legitimize his rule. We know that the blades, usually thought of as the Emperor's bodyguards, originated in Akivia, the Crusaders who invaded Tamriel for an obscured reasons in the late First Era. They appear to have been searching for the Dragonborn. The events at the Pale Pass bear this out, and Akivia were the first to proclaim Riman Sindridal as a Dragonborn. In fact, it was the Akivia who did the most to promote his standing as Emperor, although Riman himself never took that title in his lifetime. And of course there is no known connection between Tiber Septon and any of the previous Dragonborn rulers of Tamriel. Whether there can be more than one Dragonborn at any time is another mystery. The Emperor's have done their best to dismiss this notion, but of course the Imperial Secession itself means that at the very least there are two or more potential Dragonborns at any time. The current ruler and his or her heirs, the history of the Blades also hints at this 
although little is known of their activities during the interrogation between Roman's empire and the rise of Tiber Scepter. Many believe that the players continue to search out and guard those they believe were or might be Dragonborn during this time. Lastly, we come to the question of the true meaning of being Dragonborn. The connection with dragons is so obvious that it has almost been forgotten in these days. When dragons are a distant memory, we forget that in the early days being dragonborn meant having the dragon blood. Some scholars believe that was meant quite literally. Although the exact significance is not known, the Nords tell tales of dragonborn heroes who were great dragon slayers. Able to steal the power of the dragons they killed, indeed it is well known that the Akivio sought out and killed many dragons during their invasion, and there is some evidence that this continued after they became Roman Zindriel's dragon guards. Again the connection between dragons and Tiber Septon, the direct predecessor to the blades of today. I leave you with this known as the prophecy of the Dragonborn. It's often said to originate in the Elder Scroll, although it is sometimes also attributed to the ancient Akivia, many have attempted to decipher it, and many have also believed that its omens had been fulfilled and that the events of the last Dragonborn was at hand. <clears throat> I make no claims as an attributor of the prophecy, but it does suggest that the true significance of Akintosh's gift to the mortal kind has yet to be fully understood. When misrule takes its place at the eight corners of the world, when the brass tower walks and time is reshaped, when the feist blessed fail and the red tower trembles, when the dragonborn ruler loses his throne and the white tower falls, when the snow tower lies, sun dreaded, kingless bleeding, the world he awakes and the wheel turns upon the last dragonborn. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Cam Lavosi. I hope you enjoyed it and yes, I am dyslexic so I did get some words mixed up but I hope you enjoyed the video I'll be doing a lot more videos on reading the books and reading them out loud for you so you don't have to go into the game and read them but I hope you do enjoy these book readings and if you did enjoy it put a thumbs up if you didn't uh, put a thumbs down and tell your mum to go and suck a lemon peace bros and girls